Hey, what's up everybody? Jake here and welcome to the hobby. Today we are going to be checking out the Scarlet and Violet Paldea Evolved Elite Trainer Box and seeing if you should pick up one of these bad boys for your own personal collection. These currently retail for $50 and inside of the box you get yourself 9 Paldea Evolved booster packs as well as some pretty cool sleeves and the other big bonus is the Pikachu card with the Scarlet and Violet starter. Is this really worth $50 according to the secondary market? It is not because I can already find Scarlet and Violet Paldea Evolved Elite Trainer Boxes going for sale for as low as $36 to $38 so that's around $12 to $14 below MSRP already and honestly I think these Elite Trainer Boxes are not going to sell that particularly well which is great for collectors like you and me if you want to keep one of these sealed then in probably four to five months you're probably going to see a ton of these Elite Trainer Boxes going for sub $30 which is an incredibly great deal if you're looking for just a bunch of great booster packs because this set is actually pretty solid there's a bunch of art gallery cards inside of it with a bunch of alternate art cards and some really cool cards that I think are definitely worth picking up inside of every single Elite Trainer Box you are currently getting yourself a promo cards at least with the Scarlet and Violet one and the Pikachu promo is a really strong one this is a gorgeous card and easily one of the best promo cards they've released so far for this year so yeah this is definitely worth picking up just for this card especially for sub $30 and there's really not much else inside of the elite trainer box you're pretty much getting yourself the nine booster packs so let's start cracking open some Paldea Evolved this set will definitely be pretty decent. There's not a ton of fan favorite Pokemon inside of it, which is probably going to be the biggest issue with this set. You pretty much get yourself the um, Iono uh, Special Illustration Rare card as being the top hitter for Paldea Evolve. There's a couple of other full art trainer cards that are pretty solid. And outside of that, you're really after the uh, Paldean starters, and that's really it. If you're into Mouscarida or one of the other starters, then this is probably going to be worth it for you. But for most collectors, especially the older ones who are after that nostalgic hit, Paldea Evolve just doesn't really have that since it's really focused around the Scarlet and Violet region, which is probably going to be one of the reasons why it's going to be a little bit of a lackluster set for some people. Not because the art is bad, not because the cards aren't cool, but because people just don't have those nostalgic Pokemon inside of it. There's no Evolutions inside of this set. There's no Rayquaza, Mewtwo, Lugia, Charizard, Pikachu, you know, all the fan favorites. There is a Pikachu, but not a, a Chase Pikachu at least. Well, I stand corrected. I guess there's a Pikachu promo. So I guess Pikachu is in this set, but it's not enough of a nostalgic hit for most people since a lot of the Pokemon uh, from this specific set. Oh, there's the card that I've been currently hunting. It's an empty street. What a cool and quirky Pokemon card. Just an empty street. Yep, no Pokemon in sight. So that's a pretty cool art card that I've been chasing after. And we finally pulled it. That's a pretty cool one. I'm happy about that. I'm happy with that. There are some pretty cool cards inside of this set. Like I said, a card like that in a couple of months will probably go for below a dollar. You can probably pick up that card for $1 to $2. Well, maybe not that specific one because I know a lot of people do like that one specifically. So it might go for as much as $2. It really isn't that expensive. A lot of these cards from Peltea Evolve are just really easy pulls right now. So we'll really have to see where some of the prices land. But I just don't think this set is going to be that expensive. There's just a ton of stock for pretty much all of the Scarlet and Violet set. So people are pretty much going to be able to pick up booster packs on the secondary market for an incredibly affordable price, regardless of what the Pokemon company sets their MSRP for. Because let's be honest, $50 for a regular Elite Trainer box is kind of ridiculous. They threw in one additional booster pack and a promo card, and that's really all the difference between the uh, Scarlet and Violet Elite Trainer Box and the older Elite Trainer Box and is an additional $10 really worth one booster pack and a promo card? Personally for me I'd say no and it looks like the secondary market completely agrees with me because these 
Elite Trainer boxes are going for even below $40 right now. So yes, I don't think you're gonna have any trouble at all picking up a Paldea Evolved Elite Trainer box in a couple of months down the line. I'll tell you what though, if they did increase the uh, rarity rate for some of the uh, special illustration art, because we've opened up 40 booster packs of Paldea Evolved so far, and I haven't pulled a single special art rare card. We've pulled a couple of the regular art rare cards, like that empty street in the background, but nothing really crazy yet. A couple of full arts here or there, but I'm still waiting to see um, some of these bigger chase cards. We haven't pulled any of the Paldean starter art cards at all, and those contain the best storyline. You know, all three cards inside of the evolution of the Paldean starters do contain a little bit of a story, which is a nice little element that I think they should continue to do. So we'll just have to wait and see if they do something uh, big with that, with the upcoming Pokemon card set, because I know Charizard is going to be inside of the next following set. And that's going to be a pretty big one because everyone knows how popular Charizard is. And we haven't seen Charizard for a couple of sets now. So crazy because in Sword and Shield, the Pokemon company kind of went Charizard crazy. They printed so many different versions of Charizards. There was like three different shiny Charizard card inside of the Sword and Shield set, which is immense, right? That's so many different versions. How many versions of shiny Charizard? Do you really need okay so there's our elite train box we pulled ourselves three cards inside of nine booster packs so that's right around average you do get yourself the pikachu promo card and of course you do get yourself the paldean starter sleeves which are pretty neat but with for nine booster packs a promo and the sleeves is this really worth fifty dollars i'm gonna go with no you're probably just gonna want this on the secondary market and frankly for me right now I would pick up an Elite Trainer box for no more than $30. I think that's an honestly what these are worth right now. Given that you really are just getting yourself honestly $30 worth of value from one of these Elite Trainer boxes, I'm going to have to unfortunately give this box a 3 out of 5 because I think that's honestly what they're currently valued at. At $50 you would never see me picking up one of these boxes and that's my personal opinion if you still want one for your own personal display and you don't mind paying full price for it you definitely can but for me personally these are going to go on fire sale in a couple of months so there's really no reason for you to pick up one right now unless you're just really excited to open up some brand new booster packs that's been my review let me know what your thoughts are on this product and i will see you guys next time